Hello everybody, this is Nam Talks from NTF Gaming and I'm here for another factual opinion. The only place to get the correct opinion on the state of video games. And uh, I am here today to take a long look at Mass Effect Andromeda. The follow up to one of the greatest trilogies ever in video games, the Mass Effect trilogy. My personal favorite new franchise from the last generation of consoles. When it came out I was head over heels with it, the sound design, the universe they created, the storyline, Shepard. I was so invested, the, ch the decisions, you know, it was something that people haven't done yet. And announcing from the get-go it was going to be a trilogy was great because it really got you invested and it hooked you in and you were just so ready for the next title. Unfortunately, Mass Effect Andromeda is profoundly disappointing. It's the most disappointing game I've played in a long, long time. But I'll start with the positives. I will say the multiplayer is awesome. Mass Effect 3's multiplayer was really good. This feels more of an evolution instead of a revolution. I was hoping for a more expanded focus on the, on the multiplayer co-op. I was hoping they'd you know, make some actual mission design or something, but... For what it is, a direct follow-up, it does everything you need it to do. There's lots of playable races, lots of unlocks. It's very fair. You can unlock a lot of stuff by just playing, even though they have their you know free-to-play hooks in there. You don't need to spend any money to progress and keep going. It looks great, plays great. The multiplayer co-op is fantastic. I will be playing this game a ton just for the co-op. The visuals... Not, not the animations, but the visuals, they look nice. Like, there's some vistas, locations you go to. It's very pretty. I'm playing it on PC where it runs really smoothly. I've heard it doesn't run that great on consoles, so, you know, just be aware I'm playing on a really beefy rig. That's where the positives end for me. I started playing the campaign. And mind you, I was on a media blackout. I reacted to all the major trailers, but I didn't watch any extended gameplay. And then, you know, the game had that early access trial and people were like, all oh, the animations and the faces and all this stuff and people were just hammering on it. But I didn't pay attention. I didn't look at any of that stuff. I didn't want to believe it almost. And I started playing the campaign and after you know, several hours, I am just, oh, I'm so intensely disappointed. It's so many problems, but we'll start with the, the most important two problems, I feel like. A, writer. The character you play as, the central focus of the storyline, is incredibly boring and annoying and just has no charisma to him or her if you choose to, you know, be the female writer or the male writer. I just can't get invested. There's no weight to anything in terms of the character's rank and role in the storyline. You are the pathfinder. You are this person who's supposed to lead all of, you know, the Milky Way into this new frontier. And none of it feels earned. Whereas in the first Mass Effect, hearing about the Spectres and the Citadel and your character's progression to earning the right to be called Spectre, it was treated with a weight. There was, there was a theatrical component to that entire ceremony you feel like you earned it you you put in the work you are you know a specter the first human specter and in this game you when you get made the pathfinder it, it just doesn't feel like anything even your partner Kara who's one of your crewmates or Cora I, I don't even care what her name is at this point she was like oh I was training my whole life to be it but you can have it like there's just like no deeper like conflict it's like you are just going to be the pathfinder uh dad says you can be him it, it almost feels like a spoiled rich kid who inherits a lot of money it never feels like he earns it it just doesn't it's just like a jesus complex that i can't get over everything relies on the pathfinder the pathfinder is this great thing and it just doesn't it's the worst of all the star wars games uh star wars games Bioware's games and they have to make up that title for the main character. This is the first time where it really feels forced. Like it's not like the Inquisitor 
or the shepherd or the specter any of those things it just feels like they just throw it on you and it, it, it's not deserved and the fact that the pathfinder is so important and all the answers go through him and he solves all the mysteries it it just it just feels not like nothing it just doesn't feel like you have you, you just feel like you don't deserve it then on top of that your crewmates are also incredibly disappointing besides Drac who once again the Krogan saves the day they're all just so bland and I don't care about any of them and they're just they're just there I, I besides PB and Drac they almost show no personality I'm not invested in their stories I can't stand to hear them talk and anytime there is a, a big moment with them I'm just kind of just rushing through I, I just can't get invested in these characters it's the weakest cast of supporting characters possibly in any Bioware game ever besides Jade Empire it's just incredibly disappointing and the list just goes on and on I mean I'm not even going to talk about the animations like that's what everyone was hammering is the facial animations they look bad they're terrible it's buggy all that stuff and that's all true but I'm not even going to really... That's not what disappoints me about the game. I can look past that stuff when I'm invested in the game and I care about the plot. But I just don't. Like, you, you go to this new galaxy. You are out there. You're supposed to be into a new frontier. And nothing is treated with any weight. You become the Pathfinder. It just kind of happens. You get your new ship, the Tempest. It just kind of happens. There's no weight to it you go to you know you meet the first hostile alien race and within two seconds you're just shooting them in the face you, you meet another alien race the angara who are supposed to be friendly and it's just like oh first contact like uh, oh cool let's have a dialogue wheel okay like it, nothing is treated like it fucking matters it's it should matter there's no for for mass effect calling itself a space opera you know this huge epic there's no theatrics to any of the things that should fucking matter i'm going to a new galaxy i'm on a new world i'm getting my first ship it's fucking mass effect getting your ship should be crazy when you first get to normandy there is music playing there's people running around they're working on the ship the cameras zoom in all over the place it's like this is it man i'm in for the long haul this is going to be an adventure you get the tempest you just kind of walk up and you know, like, let's get on it. And there's like not really any good music and you just it just feels hollow. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel satisfying. And I guess that's what the problem is in the entire game. Nothing feels satisfying. The the just nothing about it. You go to your first planet, you're doing the quest on it, and you slowly realize, oh, I'm just filling up some bars. I'm just filling I'm going to another planet, I'm filling up more bars. Oh, there's environmental hazards, there's lightning and ice and heat and radiation but all that is is a status in the screen and you suffer from it the same way there's no actual real in like you can't really mesh with those things it's not like when you're playing zelda and i'm walking through a desert so equipping an ice weapon will you know cool me down you know i can be an ice planet have a flamethrower coming out of my wrist and it doesn't mean anything it just nothing means much there's no actual weight to anything you're going around getting these quests you're picking up these random consumable items the ui is a joke it plays terribly i'm not invested into any of the the logs and, you know you're going through these ancient alien structures on a galaxy far away opening these mysterious doors and you're finding loot crates that have crafting materials like it just doesn't feel earned for a game that said they wanted to learn from the witcher 3 and the witcher 3's side quest and how all that stuff matters it just feels hollow you have the dumbing down of everything there's like 45 things on the screen telling you where to go and what to do at all times in addition to having an ai companion sam uh, uh ai who's just programmed into your head who also is telling you every five seconds what you need to do and what is dangerous and what you should avoid it just all of it comes together and it's not a terrible game i'm not saying it's you know a one out of five avoid at all costs but it's mass effect and i love mass effect so it's super 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 disappointing i'm incredibly bummed out especially because it's mass effect 
and also because of the great titles that we've had in the past couple months. You know, RE7, Nier, Neo, Yakuza, Horizon Zero Dawn, Halo Wars. Like, there's been some really awesome titles. So for Mass Effect to come out, and it seemed like, okay, it's coming out last. It's going to really bring this home. And it's just a fucking dud. I just can't care about writer they stripped the paragon and renegade which i first i thought was a good choice because i liked it in dragon age inquisition i liked the emotional responses more than the evil or good choice but then in this game the way it's handled because of the character's voice the lack of interest in the characters you're with every choice just kind of seems along the middle you don't really have a really well-developed personality i don't feel like the characters are reacting to me being a logical writer versus an emotional one or a sarcastic right like it just no fucking weight to any of it i could care less that's the exact opposite of how i want to feel when i'm playing a new mass effect i want to be in there i want to be invested i want to be pulled i want to just want to explore i want to see what's out there i want to keep playing and all i want to do every time i play the campaign for mass effect andromeda is turn it off and play something else or hop right into the multiplayer and just do that instead. I I don't know what happened. I don't want to get into the rumor mill and this team was working on that. All I know is it's Mass Effect Andromeda and it's disappointing. It's a letdown. It's nowhere near the level of, of greatness that the old ones had achieved. I just can't get over it. I, I, I'm so bummed out. <sighs> Hopefully the sequel goes better. This is the longest review I've done. I know I'm rambling, but I just I have to get across how incredibly pained I am that I have to sit here and talk about these things and rant about all the disappointing choices. And then to wrap it back around to the one problem everyone does have, which is the facial animations, they are a problem because when something happens, it doesn't happen often, but when something happens that has some kind of emotional you know, weight to it, you're then staring at characters who are wide-eyed, half smirking all the time, and they completely kill the mood. Like, all the, the weight is gone. Any any weight that it did have or, or gravitas is completely killed by a dead-faced set of characters who are just animating poorly and not taking the news well either way. In fact, sometimes their faces look like they're reacting the complete opposite of how you would expect. Ah, I just... Everything about it. You go to new planets, they feel like planets in the old game. You're in a new galaxy, but here's a ship that looks just like the Normandy. Here's a galaxy that looks just like the Milky Way. Here are guns, which a good chunk of them are from the old games. It just doesn't have the confidence to really branch out and grow and be different than the other games. You know, they want you to be in a new universe, but along the way they keep reminding you of the old trilogy. And it just makes it seem like, why even go through the effort to go to a new place if this is what you're doing? Just make it a spinoff based on the old game storylines if you were going to be this safe with your next set of games. So, that's my factual opinion. I am incredibly disappointed. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. Uh, if you're a big fan of the multiplayer, it's absolutely worth it for that. I love playing the co-op. It's fantastic. It's fast. Action-packed. There's tons of stuff to unlock. But if you are just in it for the story in its current state, and I don't think it can get better because the problems I have with it have nothing to do with animation or faces. It's stuff that you can't fix in a patch. I, I have to say, just skip it. Even as a diehard Mass Effect fan, it really hurts to be this bummed out by the game. That was my factual opinion. If you liked the review, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it, let me know. I need feedback. 350 subscribers. I'm so close. I can't do it with all of you guys. Check out ntfgaming.com. That's our website. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Later, everybody.